Hi guys, it's Shell Simmers. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing our empties video and I feel like it's been a little bit since I've done the last one, but not too long and it's kind of just kind of alerting. I just had a couple of things that were done. Um, skincare, I think makeup. So we're just going to go over them and I'm going to let you guys know what I think of them. Did I repurchase them? Did I like them? Did I enjoy using them? So yeah, let's get into it. And before we do, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and let's just go ahead and get started. So the first item is actually a shampoo. This one is by the brand Biolage. And I'm really like picky when it comes to shampoos because I feel like they're so expensive. Like spending $20, $30 on a shampoo is just mind-blowing to me, especially in a conditioner. So this one wasn't really cheap. I got this one at Ulta and this is what the bottle looks like right there. It is completely empty. Um, actually, this is a conditioner. My bad. This is shampoo, I still have it. So this one is a keratin dose conditioner. It says that it's for over-processed hair. It has pro-keratin and silk free of parabens and yeah, it's pretty much what it says. So I don't really know how I feel about this one. I don't feel like it made, I have really curly hair, so I don't feel like it made it really easy for me to brush my hair when I was washing my hair. I always had to like go in with a second conditioner. With that said, I also was having a little bit of trouble with this being too um, moisturizing and like too hydrating. So my hair would always be like oily by like day two. So I really didn't enjoy this one. I don't know if it's like something that I'm like scratching that brand off and just being like, I'm never buying from my lodge. I don't think it's that serious, but just this product in particular just didn't really work for my type of hair. If you do like this then let me know below because I do feel like it smells really good. It just feels really nice in the hair, but it just didn't do like as much as I needed it to. So I actually have been using something that is like five or six dollars from Ulta. And right now just the name doesn't come to my head, but I'll be sure to link it down below. And I'm loving that one. I can't wait to like let you guys know what it is in a favorites video because it is so inexpensive and so good. So the next thing is actually a body wash and this one is by Method Body. You can find this one at Target. I'm pretty sure some right it's have it. I'm not or some CVS's have it. I have the one that is called Pure Peas, and it has pink sea salt, rose water, and puny, and this is how it looks like. I've been loving these so much. Um, this is the second one that I go through, and these things are big. I just find myself using a lot of it for some reason, just because it smells so good. Um, and they're really expensive. I'm pretty sure they're like seven or eight dollars, so I really like it. It brings 18 fluid ounces, they also have little ones that are like travel sizes with three ounces and I've been loving those as well. I take them everywhere with me. So if you're looking for something like this, I would really recommend this brand. It just feels really nice on the skin. Like it's not true. It's like kind of like a lotion-y feeling to it. So it's like really, really nice and like just soothing. So I really, really enjoy it. Um, I love this one. I have a, two other ones. I have a cucumber and also another one, the gray one. I can't remember the name of it, but it's really, really good. Definitely recommend those. Okay. So in the same track of skincare, I have these two makeup removers from Bioderma. I go through these like candy. I love them so much. This is the only makeup remover that I use and it's this Encevio H2O makeup remover. And I love this because it's water-based. And if you have sensitive skin, you need this in your life. It's just so freaking good. This takes everything, absolutely everything, including mascara, in like two seconds. You don't have to like, you know, be really harsh with your skin and like really, really like wipe things around. And I just really like it. I use this with like a really subtle um, makeup pad from Target that I use. I'm going to also mention those on my next favorites video because I've been loving them a lot and just, they're just really big and I love that because I can only use one for my whole face and I don't have to like waste more. But anyways, these are so good. You can find these ones. Um, they're on Amazon, but I don't know. I bought it once from Amazon. I just didn't get the same results with them and it just felt like a little, um, I don't know. It just irritated my skin just a tiny little bit and I felt like there was something wrong with it, like it wasn't like the original. So you can get this one at Beautylish, that's what I would recommend you. They also have like payment plans in Beautylish, so you can also get a lot more stuff, but just throwing that out there. But yeah, I really, really like this one, definitely recommend it, been talking about it forever. This brand is just really, really good. Um, and they also have really good moisturizers and just stuff for like the face in general. Okay, so the next one is my Cerave Facial Moisturizing Lotion. I love this thing, especially because it has SPF 30. Um, this is a must-have for me in the summer, actually all year, but in the summer I have to have this. I have to put this on even if I'm layering it up for the, with another moisturizer. It just has to be in my kit. This is so good for people that have like are, that are acne prone like me. Or if you just want to have like a little SPF on your routine and just want to add it on, just take a little pump of this and it's great. Like honestly, this is amazing. I really, really like it. I They have like a PM version and AM version. I really don't know what the difference is, but I always take the AM 
because I feel like it just would be would work better when it's really sunny out. SPF is something that I never ever miss, no matter what kind of like what time of the year it is, no matter what the weather is like. I always put SPF because you don't know how much the sun is actually affecting your face, even if it's cloudy. So I just you know to be sure I always put it on. The next one is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. And this one is a little serum. Honestly, if you're going to get the hyaluronic acid, I would definitely recommend... It's not trying to focus. Come on. Come on. So this is it right there. Honestly, if you're looking for a hyaluronic acid, I would definitely recommend the Good Molecules one over this one. Just because I felt like I always wanted something more when I use this. It's not terrible. Like, I know a lot of people really like this brand. I honestly really like this brand as well. But just this one in particular, I feel like the Good Molecules are just a little bit better. And it's the same price. You can also find that one on Beautylish, so I'm going to link it down below. But I would use this after using, like, an oil type of thing, after washing my face. And um, after this, I would put on moisturizer. And it just makes, like, a big difference on how smooth my makeup looks and how hydrated my skin stays throughout the day so I feel like it's a really really must have Ooh. okay I feel like it's a must have on your collection if you have like really if you have like skin issues where it's really dry or you have spots where you feel like it's really dry or if you just want to give like your skin a little plump um, you can just use this. So I really recommend it. I really liked it, but I felt like if you're going to get something like this, I would definitely go with the Good Molecules. I'm going to link it down below as well. So you can find it there. It's so good. That brand is like honestly amazing. It's like so cheap. I don't even understand it. Okay, so the next thing is this Moroccan oil treatment and it's for the hair. And this is how the little bottle looks like. This is not cheap, by the way. It's a little bit expensive. I got this one from Ulta. And my friend just told me, like, get it, you need to try this. I always put a little bit of oil in my hair after I blow dry it. Um, but I started using this just a tiny little bit before I blow dry my hair. And it just makes so much difference. So much difference. This is so freaking good. I know it's like a tiny little bottle, but I use so little of it that this lasted me maybe like five or six months. Because I just don't use a lot of it. You don't need it a lot of it because it, your hair will get oily. And I just kind of put this like on the ends of my hair. I would never put it like on, you know, near my roots. But I just kind of like massage it onto the ends of my hair and then just blow dry it as normal. And it would just look so much better. It would look like make my hair look so much silkier. I feel like I didn't have so many little hairs standing up like baby hairs. And it just, it's really, really like a game changer. Especially if you want your hair to look really like shiny and pretty. This is amazing. So really recommend this. Um, this whole brand in general is really, really good. Um, I know it's a little bit expensive and you can probably get the same results with just another hair oil. So maybe try that and see how you like it. And if it doesn't work for you, then go ahead and purchase this one because it's really good. Okay, so moving on to makeup products. I have this Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. And it's not completely done. It has a little bit inside. But honestly, it's almost impossible to get it out just because the little applicator doesn't go all the way down so I just like I gave up I was trying to like kind of get it and scoop it out but it was impossible so I've been using this forever if you guys watch my videos you know that I mentioned this on my favorites for a long time I also mentioned it on my empties because this is something that has to be on in my kit like it just has to because it makes my skin like so much better and if you have if you struggle with like a lot of texture in your face which I do if you struggle with a lot of dryness you just Take a lot of this and just like, massage it on your face and your makeup will look so smooth. Like if you just put Botox on your face, honestly. Really recommend it. Really like it. Um, my friend actually got it for me for Christmas and it was like perfect timing because she didn't know mine was almost done. So I was like so happy about it. So I still have it. So happy. Can't live without it. So the next two items are for the brows and this is the NYX professional micro brow pencil and then the Catrice Slimmatic ultra precise brow pencil. So I use the NYX on the shade Brunette and I use the Catrice on the shade um, doesn't really have a shade but it's the number 30 dark. But these are them right there. I really really like them. The Catrice one is like $4 and then NYX is like $8 and honestly they're so freaking good. I do have a complaint with the Catrice. It's like this is done and like three days. So use this three times and it's like completely done. Um, I just don't understand why they put such little product here. 
it just really blows my mind but it's just really nice I like the spoolie as well and it's just a really nice like the color is really nice as well so I really like it it's something that I just enjoy so much and I've been talking about it forever it's one of my favorite brow pencils and I just really recommend it from the drugstore I recently discovered a new one though that I think I like a little better than this one and it's from Maybelline I just actually used it today I can't find it right now but I'll be sure to mention that on my favorites as well, but this one is so, so good. I honestly purchased another one anyways because I just really, really love it. And it's like not too drying and not too like buttery. So you get like a really nice like sharp brow and it's just really nice to like maneuver. You can get like really like thin little hairs if you want to. And I just really, really love this one. It has a really fine point. So it's just something, I don't know, if you're looking for a brow pencil, this is one, this one is great and it's from the drugstore so you can pick this up at CVS. I love the fact that I can just pick something up at my local drugstore and I don't have to like go into a store. That is like clutch for me so yeah we like it. The next item is something that is not entirely done but it's about to be done in like two more uses so I'm gonna mention it just because I love it so much. This one is a Haley's Beauty um, Retouch Perfecting Powder and you can see right there how this is like how much I have left and if you see on the other side it's like like done. It is done so. So I've been like taking out the little bit that I have left to use it on my everyday, but I've just been loving that one. It actually replaced my Chanel um, one that I was like, that was like $50, but the Haley's one is like $20, $22 and you can find it, I think at Macy's and you can also find it on their website. I'm going to link it down below because it is so amazing. It is a game changer powder. I first heard about this because Juicy Jazz mentioned it on her video. And I went ahead and tried it and it's the best decision that I've ever made. It kind of like does like this little filter effect on your face where like it makes everything look so much smoother than it did before. And if you have a lot of trouble making your foundation look flawless, if you have a lot of trouble like making your foundation look very, very smooth and just nice, definitely use this powder along with like something like a MAC Fix Plus or just any setting spray. And honestly, the results are going to be so amazing so good that you're gonna thank me so yeah make sure to check that brand out they have really good stuff i also love their foundation and i think i'm gonna try their concealer and their primer yeah just definitely wanted to mention it on this video so that is all the items that i have today i don't know if this video is going to be too short or what but yeah those are my empties for this last i think two months or three months i'm not sure but yeah i really love the products i think i only have one flop and watch the conditioner and it wasn't really a flop it just didn't really work for me but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely subscribe down below if you liked this video if you like me and yeah i'll see you guys on my next video bye